After a year of weed shops sprouting up across the city, selling illegal marijuana and tobacco products, the spotlight is now on. At a city council hearing today, officials testified that in about a two-week span, the city seized $4 million in products with 147,000 items taken into custody. Businesses that endanger New Yorkers will be thoroughly investigated. Illicit shops that continue to put New Yorkers at risk while also jeopardizing the success of equity-centered cannabis legalization will face legal consequences. Legal consequences not just for selling cannabis without a license, but for selling the untested and unregulated marijuana. The lack of regulation hasn't been the only downside. Many unlicensed sellers operate on a cash basis and have become targets for violent robberies. And that's not all. Right before the hearing, city council members stood on the steps of City Hall with a health concern. They are selling nicotine and cannabis products to minors. Officials say all too often the stores are selling cannabis and tobacco products to minors. Even the packaging targets the young, which is also illegal and jeopardizes the health of young New Yorkers whose minds and bodies are still developing. Many are calling for the city to intensify the crackdowns. Seeing kids drawn by this, we need to take a stand, and that's what we're doing today, making sure that we are educating our children and making sure that they don't become addicted to this at such a young age. As for the total numbers, the Office of Cannabis Management tells us here in New York City alone, they have cracked down on 75 unlicensed shops, they've impounded 20 mobile trucks, and they have seized the equivalent of $10 million in products. On the Upper East Side, Arthur Chiam, Fox 5 News.